I didn't slip. Hey yo everybody, it is I the Great Taco, and here is a set review. So the one that I'll be reviewing today is Kopaka Master of Ice. It came out in 2015. I don't remember the set number because I'm a chump like that. Um but this is actually my first ever Bionicle set. I remember getting him when he came out. It was just like... He's a very nice set, actually. I really like him. A lot of people don't. I don't really care. He's cool. No pun intended. So, let's... I want to start with this Skull Spider right here. So, every Toa and every Protector this year, actually. I haven't completed it, but I have part of the Protector Revise assembled right now. I'll finish them later when I have the parts. But anyway, we have um, this still spider. Oh crap! And these legs were actually new for these um, for the 2015 Bionicle sets. I believe they're still around. If they're not, that's a shame because it's such a cool looking piece. And they just all come in gunmetal here, and they always came in gunmetal on every. Um, Skull Spider, so as a thing, these actually came in other colors as well, such as spring green and also dark blue, though I don't know where my dark blue one is at the moment. So we'll figure that out later. Regardless, this one came in silver in this set. Silver also came on the water sets. So each element had a, had a corresponding color. Ice is sil ice and water silver, earth and fire were spring green, and then um, jungle and stone were dark blue. And actually, stone had an extra one out the back here. Why am I discussing this? I don't know. I need something to talk about. So there's this. This there's more. There's another play feature with this old dude that I will get into later in the video. So onto the figure here. He is actually really nice. So I know a lot of people don't like G2, but G2, like CCBS, I think benefited Bionicle a lot just because of how, like, I don't know. It benefited a lot for the system because older, Bion older Bionicle sets, they all kind of looked samey. Not 2008, but like 2006, for example. And heck, even the Mata and the Nuva were all very samey. And of course, 2015 and 2016 brought back the Toa that we all knew and loved. Like the, the Mata here, they were really like Mata. They were what we called the, what everyone's kind of calling the Toa Okoto, I think. If I remember correctly, I don't talk about G2 very much anywhere. So, <laughs> most of my community knowledge is limited. But regardless, they were very faithful in recreating the essence of the originals. So... If my Kopaka wasn't in a canister, I would grab him right now. Or my uh, Mata. But this feels like a Toa Mata. The mask looks like the original Akaku almost perfectly. It's, it's, this, it's, this looks nice, you know? Of course, it's a little more square, but even then, I like it. Actually, speaking of the mask, we have... The set comes with two. So we have his gold one and his white one. And, personally, I prefer the white one. Though the gold one is very cool, the white one just kind of, I don't know, feels more like Opaka. Also, it makes his face not be completely gold, because here, here's how he looks with the gold mask. Just this blob of gold right here. It does look cool, like here when you just kind of stand him back a little bit, it looks awesome. Still, it doesn't really change that much how he looks, but the white, like, it kind of stands out a little more. I just I like how he looks, you know? So, put the mask out of the way. Let's take a look at weapons. So, first thing here is his trademark shield. Iconic, even. So they used these Tahu, oh crap, these 20 like these sword pieces that were mainly featured in Tahu, like almost prominently they were featured in silver, I actually got one right here. This is Dramadus's sword, but I used this piece. So this is, these are the only two colors this piece ever came in. And I believe, if I remember correctly, 
It only ever came in three sets. This one, Tahu Master of Fire, and the Samurai X Cave from Day of the Departed. Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know for sure, but I just know that in the Samurai X Cave, it came in this color as like a skull. So yeah, there's that. Also, these pieces are very nice. They're used very, they used a lot in 2015, actually. A surprising amount, not just in Bionicle. Because they came on, in Bionicle specifically, they came on Kopaka, the Protector of Ice, the Protector of Fire, Tahu, the Protector of Jungle, the Protector of... Wait. The only Protector it didn't come on, or Protectors, rather, is Earth and Water. It came on every other Protector. And then it came on a bunch of Hero Factory sets and a bunch of Chima sets. So I have a lot of this piece. Granted, most of them are the Fire variant. So, yeah. It's quite nice. And actually, Kopaka has another one in the form of his, like, spear thing. I don't know what this is supposed to be. But it's a nice looking weapon. It uses the Gurak Staff in the Silver. This is the first time we had seen this piece since 2003. Wait, no. I'm wrong. I don't know when the last time this thing came out, but it was, the last time it came out was in a Bionicle set, or it was at least several years before, so quite an old mold that they were bringing back here, and this piece also came on Pohadu. Got another one of these here, and then just basic pommel on the end here. And also, gear function! I love this thing. He's amazing. Mine's a little bit loose. This um, pin axle here's a little loose. But I love that they managed to get the gear function in while still keeping them extremely posable. Because their arms can move out, they can, he can do every, do every, everything really, and he can still have the gear function. So, yeah. Very nice. I'm actually going, you know, not, not going to remove his weapon. His shield is more obstructive than that. So I'm going to go back down to his legs to look at the details here. So his legs are pretty basic CCB, or very basic CCBS. He uses the medium, or... On the one Technic pin joint here, the knee or upper leg one with the one-way socket or ball and the friction adder. And then he uses the double ones, the double technical ones for his legs in transparent light blue, which is the first time we seen, we had seen this. And he had just this nice armor down here. It makes him look nice and bulky, which I really like. Kopaka's usually portrayed as very thin. And then he has stickered armor here. Now, this is really weird to me. I had, like, I got stickers in the set. I was like, oh, hey, hey, hey this is kind of cool. I didn't realize that this wasn't normal <laughs> for Bionicle, because Anua came with them as well. This one should be much easier to find. But, um, the sets did not often come with stickers, so it was very odd that they didn't just print the pieces. Especially this one, actually. This one I'm very surprised wasn't printed. But yeah, this is our newest chest plate. Quite nice. But yeah, this armor piece is really good looking. I personally like it. He got like a, a perfect 90 degree bend on his knee. He's not super articulated due to the heavy armor, but I think it's cool still. He's using, for his chest plate, he's using the Brain Attack, um, Hero, Hero Factory Brain Attack armor in silver. Then he uses his a specialized printed chest plate for him. So it's printed with like a blue pattern. Some nice little details there. This is that this set was actually the first time I got this piece, so yeah. It's quite nice. Actually, okay, this is an interesting thing that I really like about this. I sorry I keep knocking the camera around. Something I quite like about this set is the fact that the the joints on the torso are not exposed. Or the balls on the torso. Um a common thing in 2015 was this is the closest I can get right now. Um, is that the torsos? They would have the chest plate on there, and they would attach, attach the gearbox on the back, which is where they attach the arms, and the ball joints on the sh that would be the shoulders of the actual torso would be exposed. So this is a very, that was a very common thing in 2015. This is not the torso Kapaka uses, but it's close enough. You get the idea. He uses this. He uses the smallest. Um, not the smallest, the size right up from that, for the CCBS torsos. So the ball joints are exposed right here. Well, they, they attach shoulder pads here, which is really clever, and it bulks him out a lot. Because he's quite broad, so 
It's really nice. I love that use of the resources available. And also it's great to get these pieces in gold, though I do think they originally did come in gold, but they still are a really cool piece. So I don't care. His arms are both the same. He's actually the same assembly for his upper arm as his shins. Just flip the other way around. And then just a little, the smallest CCBS shell for the lower arm. And actually, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, this is the first time we had ever seen transparent CCBS armor. I could, I could actually very well be wrong about that as well, but I don't remember it prior. So, yeah, I actually really like the transparent armor. It looks super cool. Again, no pun intended, but like, yeah, it's nice. And also, we got transparent hands for Kopaka and the perfect protector of ice, and I believe the protector of fire as well. So, very nice addition. And there, which goes over that. And yeah, that's basically it for the actual figure. So, on to extra play features. So I already showed off the arm swinging. So another one that's actually really well known is that, where you push the lever on the back of their head and the mask comes off. That's not my favorite feature in the world, but it's there. Now, one of the more interesting features is the skull spiders. So, like the Krana from 2002, these can actually latch on to the face of a Toa, and now they're part of the Skull Spiders now. It's kind of funny. Just, just doing their thing, and now <laughs> Zero Blade. But yeah, she's cool. I, I actually really love that they gave this extra play feature in the set, because um, one thing that people, or that's common with Bionicle sets, is that there wasn't really much to do with it, unless you had other sets. So the fact that you could play with it against the villain while only buying one set was huge. And I really like that that's a thing. So yeah, it's a very nice feature. And of course, the, it comes off the same way the mask does. This is a lot tighter than the mask actually. It doesn't come off as easily. So another feature of these sets is that the, the weapons all transformed into um, transportation. So for Kopaka, his shield splits into two, and of course, he's a toe of ice, so you get skis, I think I assembled it wrong, but we're going to roll with it on the one leg. Uh, can't touch it. There we go. Oh. But yeah, he gets skis, and I think it's really nice. Quite nice, actually. It's got skis to move. So this is very reminiscent of his 2002 version, Kopaka Nuva, where that said he had skis or skates or whatever. So yeah, that is Kopaka Master of Ice, my first bonk. So <clears throat> overall, I would recommend this set if you can find it for a good price. On the aftermarket, he's absurd, he's too expensive. But when he came out, he was only 20 bucks, so it was actually pretty good. But yeah, if you can find him for a good deal, I would get him. He's fantastic. So yeah, ciao. <laughs>